Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Pisces. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast and intuitive reading for November the 22nd to the 28th. Uh, keep in mind, as I said, not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you Pisces on the planet. But take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. Pisces, I'm going live today. Today is uh, November the 21st as I'm making this video. I am a little bit late getting these out to you, but they're due tomorrow. Please join me in my live session on my YouTube channel uh, where I will be giving out free spirit and <clears throat> intuitive messages to those that join in. Uh, anybody that wants to ask a question, the super chat button will be there. You'll get immediate mini reading from me and you will get priority and bumped up to the front of the pack. So hope you're available. Come join me. I don't go out live very often. So this is your chance to meet me face to face and get a private little reading from me. So let's see what we have here, Spirit, for our beautiful Pisces. What do they need to see, know, expect, past, present, possible, future energy, beginning, middle, and end of the week, please, Spirit. You're all over energy card. Let's see what we have, Pisces. Let's look forward to a good week. You have the talisman. And let's see what we have with our Lennerman message here. Spirit, what does Pisces need to see? Possibly beginning, middle, and end of the week energy as well. Let's see what we have here. Well, that one flew out. <clears throat> I like this. You've got the letter, Pisces. Good news coming. So, no news of something. What do you need to be aware of, cautious of, expect coming in, change, tweak, um, surrender to this week? Let's see what we have here. Pisces. One card, please, Spirit, for my beautiful mermaids and mermen. There we go. Thank you. Surrender to what is. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what we have here, Pisces, for you this week. Let's see what we have. Okay. All right. So coming in behind you, the beginning of the week, you have an opportunity here. Look what you got. Page of Wands. You have the Seven of Swords and you have the Empress. Coming in in the middle of the week could be the energy you're feeling now. You have the Ten of Wands. You have the Ten of Swords and you have the Nine of Wands. What's going on here, Pisces? <clears throat> coming in at the end of the week, which could be energy coming towards you. You have the Three of Wands. Oh, Pisces, you keep getting this. The Three of Swords, but you end up with the Nine of Pentacles. So let's see what we have here for my beautiful Pisces. Okay, starting right off the bat with your all over energy card, my beautiful Pisces, you've got the talisman. Now the talisman is all about lessons that we've learned on our path here. You know, now we're at a, at a place where we know uh, you know, the right things to do and the best choices to make. Um, you really can't commit to a mistake. Whatever you're you're worried about or concerned about and what you're working towards this week, I think great fortune awaits you for you've the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. And I think you've learned from your lessons and earned the right to the success. So um, it's all about the lessons we've learned up to this point that has led us to where we are now. Is it lessons in relationships where we're more careful about the company we keep? Is it, uh, is it in our career? Is it, you know, education? Education? Are we in? Are we? Uh, you know, working towards that? And I, you will hear me refer to it as we, because you guys know I'm a Pisces as well. So this is, you know, you can't make a mistake. I think you know this is almost like to me the Midas Touch card, right? Uh, the, you know, the the King of Coins. Uh, this is what this reminds me of. So I don't think you're going to have a problem here. You've learned your lessons. Um, you know, basically she has stripped down to the basics here, and she's ready to go out there and forge out into the world and start a brand new beginning. Now you've got the letter and the letter is always about communication right and you know the letter is a it could be anything right I mean it could be an invitation an announcement it could even be a document I mean it could re it could it could represent important paperwork you know maybe memos orders contracts deeds reports certificates and records so it could mean a lot of things uh, whether they're emotional and personal uh, and romantic or whether they're business and legal documents so um, it could be anything you know too again like I said it could be on a personal you know, 
it com communication. Uh, you know, postcards, love letters, greeting cards, emails, notes, journals, poetry. You know what? That's all what it all means. Messages and greetings and information. So it has a lot of meanings here. So some of you may be uh, expecting to receive some information coming in. Okay, so I, I would definitely see this as a good news card. Now, what do you need to surrender to? Pisces, you're always constantly thinking about the next nano moment or you're losing yourself in your beautiful magical imagination, thinking of past uh, things in your life. You're very dreamy and that's who you are and you, you get lost in your daydreams and I'm sure a lot of you, I know I did as a kid in school, got accused of daydreaming all the time and not living in the moment, dreaming of that next thing I could do. So you know what? Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, completely accept it as exactly as it is and it'll bring you peace. So you know what? Live in the moment but look at the situation or challenges that are coming in towards you this week, Pisces. And you know, don't allow yourself to fight it. Just, you know what, it is what it is and let it go. Throw it out into the universe if there's something there that's challenging you that you can't change because we cannot change history. We can't change the past. And as I said, often we lose ourselves thinking of that. So, you know, and we can only enjoy what's happening right now. So if there is something that, you know, that's coming in towards you, just let it go. Throw it out into the universe. Say it is what it is. Throw it out. Let God let be. Now, here we go. Coming in behind you could be the beginning of the week. You've got beautiful, uh, you know, uh, energy coming in with the page of wands you have the knight of swords and you have the empress so you know pisces i think you may be hearing good news we did talk about this letter card we did say you you know you're ready to go forward and do things and the page of wands brings new activity in it could be something in the form of anything exciting uh, you know maybe you you're, you're going to do something that's exciting that in passionate that you've been wanting to do for a long time but it, it comes as a message right uh it, you know it's about activity the wands are always about progress moving forward, taking action, not sitting back and waiting for something to land in your lap. It's a, it's, it could be a contract or an agreement that's coming in towards you at this time as well. But I do see it as something exciting, okay? Something that you can look forward to here. Some beautiful new activity uh, that's coming forward to you and, and an information that maybe you've been waiting for here, right? It's an opportunity to step up and do what you want to do and get noticed for everything you have to offer, your gifts. But it is good news. Okay, so just continue believing in yourself. Now, again, we come into something action where it shifts here. Um, you know, I think you you may be dealing, some of you could be a legal situation. The Knight of Swords is about rushing up, wanting to do something in a big hurry. Uh, but don't allow yourself to get caught up in any fast uh, you know, with any fast, uh, you know, signing of documents or anything that's legal and binding that, you know, you're stuck once you put your name to. Be careful. Read between the lines. Be cautious. Take your time. Don't set yourself up for a fall here. I mean, here he is running towards the motorcycle. He's not on pavement. He's on this rough terrain. He has no idea what's over the, the, the hedge here. And he's just going to jump on there. He's anxious. So you may have heard some news where you're anxious to act on it very quickly. That's okay. You're going to have to do that. But be careful. Also, I think this could be your knight in shining armor that's coming in for some of you that could be uh, coming in to, uh, you know, sweep you off your feet here um, this particular night. Now, coming in next, you have that beautiful empress. And the empress is all about you being able to step up and plant your seeds and watch them grow. Uh, she leans into the power of her king, who is the emperor, right? And she is this. she's the feminine part of him, the yin and the yang, right? Um, I think you're going to be seeing, you know, your hard work and, your in, and, and uh, the efforts that you are investing your time into, whatever they are, are going to bring you rewards because that's all about this. Um, you know what? I think that you're going to flourish. I think that you're going to be nurturing things that are going to bring you abundance. Um, it's beautiful. Some of you might be, you know, spending time in nature. She often is, you know, is is, in, is involved in nature. She loves to be out there. Um, but it's a time of nurturing yourself. But also know that it's the return of good emotional and physical good health as well. 
Now, coming in in the center of the week here, the energy you could be feeling uh, at this time, you do have the Ten of Wands, you have the crossing energy of the Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So Pisces, I think you're going to eventually realize here uh, that you're going to be walking away from situations here that aren't serving you, uh, healing through situations and realizing that it is what it is and was what it was. Um, but I do think that you're moving forward. This is all about lightening your load, getting rid of burdens that you no longer need to carry, and they really should shouldn't be yours to carry um, and certainly don't take on the burdens of others you may have been in a one-sided relationship or friendship where you were putting all the investment and working into it feeling like you're pushing dead weight or pulling dead weight uphill and you've come to the realization uh -uh, I'm not going to keep struggling up that mountainside now you're able to traverse in a lighter way you are no longer the beast of burden you're letting go of past problems you're letting go of past negative situations you're letting go of things that aren't serving you anymore so you can go forward this is over the hardest part is over when the ten of wands shows up it says you've you you've made accomplishments here with the right decisions that you've made and your crossing over energy says you're going in a new direction ten of swords says it's done you felt as though you'd been stabbed in the back betrayed held down you couldn't go forward whatever the case was now you're free not only are you free of the burden you're free to go in a new direction now you're making those changes pisces for the better for you and you've lived and learned through all those experiences so you deserve the success that's going to come in this week and the near future nine of wands didn't back down stood your ground finally took enough and said hey i'm going to stick up and fight up and defend for what i've created here whether it's your integrity your dignity your self-worth whether it's your business your job your creative endeavors definitely not giving up here Pisces and that's what's going to lead you to go in this brand new direction coming in at the end of the week could be the energy coming towards you you've got the three of wands the three of swords and the nine of pentacles so definitely i think you're healing through a situation here for some of you it could have been a third party that stirred the cauldron that caused this heartache and disappointment but you're healing through it you definitely are walking away from this you've lightened the load you've got rid of what no longer serves you you stood in your integrity and you've left the situation whether it was in a romance or whether it was uh, whether it was a friendship or whether it was a business you know whatever the the situation here is you are healing through it you know that night the three of wands basically says you're waiting for your ship to come in you've done your work you've, you've done everything right be patient you could be traveling for business as well but definitely be patient you've done all the work that you can do and things will start to show progress and you will start to see abundance coming in here you deserve what you know here look what you've got you deserve the nine of pentacles coming in being able to walk in your garden of abundance um, i love this card you know it represents you moving forward in a positive direction being able to see abundance coming in towards you you know so beautiful card of prosperity and you know what don't be afraid to grab on to all the opportunities as they present themselves here you could be getting a, a few opportunities that are going to come in this week and you know keep your options open and your eyes open to move forward often this refers to successful self-employment um, you know you could be getting unexpected windfall that shows up maybe you're going to get a check you didn't expect or uh, something finally coming through a remittance check a reimbursement check a refund an inheritance uh, anything here um, but you know also I think you're going to have the resources here to step up and if some of you are wanting to redecorate your home or renovate your home you're going to have the resources to do that it's important to you that you make your home beautiful some of you might be bringing more a uh, green into the the into your home or more plants or more nature or adding something like that into your home as well but you're definitely going to find that uh, you're going to find more peace and contentment right now my beautiful Pisces so you are healing through this challenging situation okay let's see what we have for clarification uh, Pisces so you know what I think you've learned from your experiences, you've moved on, you're going in a brand new direction and you're going to see success coming in at the end of the day because you stood up for what you needed to stand up for. You defended yourself, you saw that you deserved to have more and now you're moving forward. You just have to be a bit patient while you're waiting for it. 
Okay, here we go. Coming in at the beginning of the week, or could be past tense energy, you've got the Empress. Yeah, there you are, Pisces, stepping up. Again, double whammy. Uh, being able to see abundance, fruition, uh, you know, great, great abundance and happiness coming into you. Going forward here towards your goals. Uh, you've got, and on top of the middle of the week, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Look what you get. You get the death. Absolutely rebirth moving forward in a new direction. Go through those doors of opportunities as they open for you Pisces you're working on a new future here you know endings new beginnings whether it was the end of a relationship a job a contract a project whatever the case is Pisces now you have a beautiful new beginning when we see the white rose here at the end it gives us this uh, this this hope and faith to know that we're moving forward in a new direction rebirth my beautiful can beautiful pardon me Pisces keep moving forward and at the end of the week, you may, the energy might be shifting here. Now, often the Eight of Wands is referred to as shifting of energy, but it, can, it used to be referred to as well as uh, the Arrows of Cupid or the Wands of Cupid. So um, I do believe that you're going to see a shift of energy here. Things are going to start to pick up. Maybe, you know, momentum's picking up now towards your business, towards relationships, towards your happiness. Uh, you know, I think you're going to see maybe some of you have been in a slump where you felt things aren't going as fast as they should or they plateaued and you can't go. You feel as though you're stuck in a situation, but you're definitely moving on in a new direction here towards your goals here, Pisces. This is something moving quickly. Uh, you may be receiving a lot of, uh, here we go, back to the letter. You may be receiving a lot of information, correspondence, communication coming in in the form of phone calls, texts, business calls. Maybe you're getting a lot of clients coming in. Maybe you're going to get busy uh, doing things, but you're definitely going to see the rise of that, and you're definitely going to see your energy shift. So if you've been stuck in a situation here waiting for something, Get ready, Pisces, because you're going to be busy. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to, my beautiful fish. And again, I leave you with this. The universe and the divine Pisces, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. And never forget how far you've come, everything you've gotten through, all the times you have pushed on, even when you felt you couldn't. All the mornings you got out of bed, no matter how hard it was, and all the times you wanted to give up but you got through another day. Pisces, never forget how much strength you have learned and developed to this point. Have a beautiful rest of today, positive outlook for this week, and let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and I'll see you soon.